Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, can I be convicted with only circumstantial evidence? Yes. Well, that was another quick webisode. Look, in order for a police officer to arrest you for any crime, a cop needs to have probable cause. This means that a cop has to be convinced that there's at least enough facts and inferences available to make a reasonable person believe that there's a good probability that you committed a crime. And this can happen without any direct evidence at all and based purely on circumstantial evidence. The same holds equally true for a conviction, meaning you can be convicted with no direct evidence at all and only circumstantial evidence, but the standard for a conviction is significantly higher than mere probable cause that's required for an arrest. In order to convict you, the state has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you committed the crime. Here's an example of a purely circumstantial case. There's a dead body. There's testimony that the deceased and I knew and disliked one another, that we had recently argued, and that I had made a verbal threat to kill him. There's also proof that I own a 357 Magnum and that the deceased was shot and killed by a 357 Magnum round. Someone says, although they did not witness the actual shooting, they did hear a gunshot, and within seconds, they saw someone matching my height and weight fleeing the scene. Further, my cell phone records confirm, at the time and date in question, my cell phone was in the area where the shooting occurred. Is this enough for an arrest? Absolutely. Any reasonable person could infer that this set of facts points to me as the shooter. I've got both the means and the motive. But is it enough to convict me? It could be, but that decision is going to be left to a jury, not to me. Thanks for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.